What's good, y'all? Let's get into it. We ain't finna waste no time. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. If you're new, y'all know what's going on. Hey, look, we watching Car Wow. And so far, these have been in top BMWs right now in the market. Everybody going for them. So they trying to find out which one the fastest, right? So we got the Alpina B, three. We got the BMW M, three. We got the BMW M. 340i and we got the BMW M340D touring. Let's see which one the fastest. You know what I'm saying? Math from Carwell always give us the best videos. And they be they be thrashing these cars and I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. What we're we'll in a drag race between an Alpina B3 Touring, a BMW M3 Touring, a BMW M340R, and a BMW M340D Touring. Well, we're going to find out by racing them over the standing foot. Look at that. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wag. So essentially, tell you about this Alp essentially, I feel like the Touring cars go a little bit faster than um, Coupes. Cause it got all that weight in the back. I feel like they do. As far as like take off. Mm -hmm. He uses the S58 3 liter straight six twin turbo from that BMW M3 toy. However, it's been tuned slightly <coughs> differently. It puts out 495 mm -hmm. horsepower and 730 newton meters of torque. Drives Oof. all four wheels for an eight speed automatic gearbox with a mm, torque converter. The actual drive system doesn't do any of the clever like rear wheel drive, X drive, M drive, blah 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 blah, blah stuff that the M car does. It just goes all out for traction and power. Now, this thing isn't the lightest car in the world. It Wait, you don't have a bit, you don't have rear wheel drive? Oh man. Okay. Mm, okay. Raising at 1,955 mm. kilos. Plus, it's rather expensive. Starting price of this, £80,000. Though this one, with all the options fitted to it, over £100,000. Let's find out about the M3 Touring. Racing driver, Sam. Tell me about your car. I am in the beautiful M3 Touring, the 3 litre straight six turbocharger that we've all come to know and love. 510 horsepower, 650 newton meters of torque. All wheel drive, eight speed auto gearbox, weighs 1,865 kilos, and it starts at 86,570 pounds. Okay. Young Nicholas in the 340i. Stats time. Stats time indeed. This is, yes, the M340i, mm. so a three liter turbocharged straight six, same eight speed ZF gearbox as those cars, same four wheel drive system, basically. This has a lot less power, so 374 horsepower, and a lot less torque as well, 500 newton meters of torque. Uh, but it also okay. costs a lot less. Uh, this is a 61,580 pound wagon <laughs> that weighs in at 1,795. That's nice, How many turbos you got, Nick? I was hoping you wouldn't ask. Uh, just one lonely turbo, I'm afraid. And what engine <laughs> number do you have? Oh, we're getting really nerdy now, aren't we? Uh, I believe this is a B58. And what's the difference between a B58 and an S58? Uh, I think two points in Scrabble. Mm. In all honesty, I don't know. I know one is an M engine and one is a, a non-M engine. I believe the B58 is a non-M single turbo and the S is the special twin turbo M engine. Is that right? It is. Well done, Nick. Thanks for your insight. Finally, right, then, let's talk to Rory, who's um, gone for economy over performance. You're in the diesel. Hi, Matt. Yeah, I'm in the diesel. Not sure if anyone remembers what a diesel is these days, but lovely things. Bit grumbly, but they go very far on attack of fuel. I'm in the M340D, so I have 340 horsepower. I have 700 newton meters of torque, so more than Nick. Um, obviously, it's a three liter straight six diesel engine with a single turbo, eight speed automatic gearbox, and all wheel drive. I weigh 1,870 kilograms, and same as Nick, Big this boy. costs about 61 grand to buy. Are you sure it's only got Thank one you, turbo? Doesn't the 40 have two turbos? I've been reliably informed that this has one twin power turbo. Oh, twin scroll. Okay, right. My mistake. You've got to promise, Rory, that you're not allowed to really go on about economy or anything in this drag race. It's all about performance, not efficiency, okay? Do you promise? I'll try very hard not oh, to, man. but you should see the figure. Yeah, shut the up! <laughs> Just shut up. Instead, Rory, I don't want to hear about economy. I want to hear about engine noise. So let's rev up your car. Go on, diesel us up. Yeah, 
Have you revved it, Rory? Rev it. I am revving it. Put the race back down. I can hear it coming through the radio on the inside because they're doing that thing where they're playing fake noise to the speakers. I couldn't hear anything on the outside. Nick, rev up your car. <laughs> oh, no soft limiters here. What? You're losing already, Rory. Damn, rev up your end. <laughs> That's better still. You're and now I'm going to go. do this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you've got a pop. This wins. Definitely. This wins. I won. No, I, I think your pop wins, but I actually think Nick, for actual purist sound wins. That's my opinion. I don't care about your opinion. I've got the pops and the bangs. <laughs> that wins. It's an exhaust noise. Why does it mind pop? It does a little bit. Some people think it, and I know that, but it does a bit. But you're in the comfy car that's supposed to be nice for cruising. Why does it pop? Anyway, if you like this kind of drag races, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Do it. Subscribe now if you haven't done so already, and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss. Good. Nice race. Three, two, one. Oh. Whoa, just wanted to get in the bushes. Come on, boy. Whoa, that child took off. Stay in the mm. Miles out of the diesel. <laughs> Miles out of the diesel. That M3 just hooked up like nothing else. Yeah, it really did. That was crazy. Ooh. Okay, just sit down. That's what I like about having that back on there. Oh my gosh. This struggled with traction off the line, almost sent me into the blooming bushes. But then I was just level with you. There's not much in it. I, I need another go. Uh, if you want, I'm definitely going to beat you. Get I think you'll beat me, but like not by quite so much. Nick, how was the 340? 340 was very good. I felt like I was keeping up with the two of you. First to second gear change <laughs> felt like it took a bit longer than I'd want. But, I mean, still... Mega quick and smash the diesel. Rory, how you <laughs> This pushed through its brakes a bit, unfortunately, but I had no hope I was watching uh -huh. you have a race from quite Wait, far try again. Yeah, let's do it again. Yeah, try again. Yeah, try again. That wasn't even fair there. Three, three, oh, let's see. Oh, a bit closer this time. <laughs> Go on, Diesel. Let's go, Diesel. The Diesel got more oh, this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of died a little bit. Pushed through its brakes. Ah. Uh, I hate when cars do But he went quicker. Yeah, that blew my car. You know what? I see the rest of the engine. Okay, I'm not going to lie, Sam. I went slightly quicker then, but I think you went even quicker than you did. <laughs> you did a little bit of tyre warming. I went, no, I'm not having that, so I did some as well. <laughs> All right, let's just have one more go. I know it's like best two out of three. You've already won, but let's cement your victory at best three out of five, okay? Okay. Okay, but I'm going to win all five. Okay, good. Okay. Let's just do it. Smashed me. Definitely depending on when you switch. You gotta rev it. You gotta redline it a little bit. That's the only way to get the car to do the little turbo boost acceleration. Cause then you you at the top of the, and then you switch it. Some people do it too quick. They ain't get all the speed, and then yeah. I am not going to do a better launch than that. No chance. And I still lost. That was a good Rip. one. <laughs> How was it for you, 340? 
That was the best launch I've had in this car all day as well. I felt like I had a chance there, but a little bit longer than last time, but still. Second gear, can't hold on with you guys. Rory in the diesel. Yeah, nailed the launch. I uh, was with Nick for about one second and then watched you all drive away. However, I am doing 42.5 MPG. What MPG are you guys doing? I was going to say, yeah, I'm pretty sure you get 45. But also I was going to say, I mean, he's going pretty fast. Like, for real, for even though regardless if he lost against the rest of the people, he's going pretty fast. 45 MPG, that's a whole lot. I ain't going to lie. And um, what's the other thing I was going to say? Oh, yeah. He ain't spinning out when he taking off, you know? So you got to always ride. So it's still it's still decent, you know what I'm saying? It still does what he needs to do. It's efficient, for real. Mm -hmm. It's fast, too. You got three something in there. That's pretty good. Mine looks the best. I've got cool, yeah. spunky, bespoke dolls. That's in my favor. Okay. I don't like the Alpina styling. I never did. By the way, thanks to the owner for lending um, us this car. So that was Sam has just poo-pooed okay. your motor. I rather like it, though. Which one y'all like? So which one y'all like? Y'all like Alpine B3 or y'all like the BMW M3? We see which one faster, but which one y'all like as far as the styling? Alpine do got nice styling though. I ain't gonna lie, the insides and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks to the guys that have lent us these cars. Here's their cars and their Instagrams. Please go and follow them, okay? Go and follow them. Links are in the description. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the M3 won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 11.3 seconds. The Alpina took 11.7 seconds. The M3 40i, 12.5 seconds. And the M3 40D came last. It crossed the line in 13.1 seconds. It's all good. Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars in comfort okay. setting for everything. Here we go then. Three, two, Two, one, go. Ooh. Okay, just kick down. So much so I could scratch my nose while doing it. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. Them BMWs, you know. It's like a car program. Like, How's man. that diesel doing? Not so bad this time. Nah, they get them. It's good. I see how we get there. <laughs> Not a huge difference in it, but oh it doesn't have a difference to matter. Well done, Sam. You're in the car with the most horsepower. Were you pulling me in there? I'm always pulling you in. <laughs> it looked in my mirror that you started to close in on me in that one. No? Mm. You weren't gapping me anymore. That initial pickup on the kickdown, Ooh, look obviously. At that, look at that body on that thing. Hold on, let's see body no? on You weren't gapping. It got that, it looked like it got that wide on her back. Mmm. Everything looking juicy. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> me anymore. That initial yeah, kick. Why ain't got no pops and bangs? That one got pops and bangs. Pick up on kick down. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the Alpine is more focused on comfort than the M. Stays two tones. Like minutes in its gearbox <laughs> response there, where you got it in normal drive. This car does have more peak torque than yours, so that's, oh, that's helping it out, right. I think, at high speeds. Anyhow, that's what I'm more right. interested in is how close was the 40D to the 40i, Rory? Unfortunately for me, it was not close. I thought my 700 mm. Newton meters might have come in handy there, but um, the gearbox uh, was a bit dithery, and I watched Nick sort of make his way up the runway in front of me, unfortunately. Yeah, because that initial response oh, to that engine is pretty good, but I imagine it comes off that peak torque quite quickly, that diesel engine. Yeah, it does, but, you know, once again, 42.5 mpg. It's the real winner here. That is <laughs> the figure that the Omens have. Right, right. right. That's what I'm still thinking about, too. I'm like, that's, hey, that's pretty crazy. I feel like averaging. I don't, I don't know what this is doing. I can't find it on here. Can anyone tell me how to get the bloody MPG up? Do me a favour, Rory. Rev your engine so we can all hear how amazingly efficient it is. I'm not sure if you've heard of the fuel. Um, it's called <laughs> diesel, um, and it's the future. Yeah, let's get those coal mines open again. <laughs> I literally cannot find my economy here on this car. Can you find it in yours, Sam? Oh, now you're asking. Um, hold on. Honestly, BMW have made their infotainment system harder to use. Always used to say it was the best in the business, but it's not anymore. Live vehicle? No. Driving settings? No. I think so. I'm looking. Content. What can we get on that content? Let's all look. <laughs> no. Mine's saying I've got 0 0.5 gallons per hour. I mean, what, what metric is that that anyone uses? I think that's what they use for tractors, isn't it? Gallons per hour? Something like that. <laughs> like, I've got a tractor, and you, you don't have like mileage on it, you have hours used. Do you, uh, can you get your MPG up, Nick? 
No, I found valet mode. I found special sort of Hans Zimmer esque sounds, but I've got nothing about economy. BMW knows that it's just not important. <laughs> So how come Rory can see here? Rory, how come you can see yours? Are you in the old infotainment system or something? So yeah, I think this car uh, has the later MHT engine, but it was just pre-facelift of the interior. So on the left, I just press car, driving information, journey data, and then it just says 42.5 mpg over 700 miles. I've got all sorts of things like live vehicle, driving settings, vehicle status... Like nothing that. So check it. So no, this is just bollocks. No, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What's that? Driving? Set? No. I can only get gallon hour thing. It's zero point two. A few moments later. Oh, there we go. I'm dead. If you start, put that screen up, Matt, and start going. And then it says it gives you your miles per gallon. So I'm doing 16.8 mpg. I'm doing 17.8 miles per gallon. What you got, Nick? <laughs> 13.1. Rory, you're the best. But I'm winning out the petrol cars, right? Yeah, you're just ahead of me. Of course, because when you're stationary, you're not doing any miles, so it just shows what it's doing at tick over. So that almost seems like a good idea. Nah. They got cameras They're everywhere. It's still daft. No one in the world has ever gone, I wonder how many gallons I'll use if I just park outside with my car running all day long. <laughs> no. You'd be surprised. I'd do something like that. <laughs> so you'd be surprised. Don't say nobody won't do it. Somebody will do it. Hey, if they're trying to figure it out, man. You do have a point there. Somebody but why can't you find like it in the main display and like choose different parameters as well since like, oh, oh you can actually, right. Get your number since factory. I've got 18.8. .8. What have you got, Nick? I've got 22.3 since factory. Was that Nick or was it Sam? <coughs> that was Sam. 22.3 since factory. And Nick? 32.4. And you, Rory? I suppose we'll just take your 43. New game, try and get it off your dash. Try and get it off my dash? Have you got it off your dash? I can't, I can't get out of this screen now. <laughs> It's with you forever. Okay, anyway, I lost. I'm glad we went through all that pain. We spent half an hour trying to figure this out. Oh, and Jack, you're not driving that car hard enough, by the way, if you're only, if you're averaging 22 miles per gallon. You're not trying. Jack's running that M3. I don't drive it like an old lady. Yeah, you are. I mean, you're getting like 22 miles per gallon. The guy who owns this Alpina is driving it correctly with his 18.8. .8. Legend. I could just be holding gear. <laughs> Right, let's see this. Third gear, roll half mile. Three, two, I one, go. I told you, you gotta hold the gear. Yeah. You gotta hold the gear. <laughs> now you're gonna go fast. Come on, everybody else, come on! You know, you know what? Burn that, burn that thing. Come on, I'm, I am pulling back a bit. Let's see. Do you know what, Sam? I was starting to pull you back in there. I knew it, you see. I could see it. Nick? Mm. How was it for you? Oh, there was definitely no pulling you. back in going uh, going on in my car over here. But uh, it, it, it felt like a carbon copy of the drag races, to be honest. I felt like I kept up with you guys for a split second, and then you just disappeared. Swap with me, Sam, just for the drive back down. I want you to feel how much more comfortable this Alpina is than that M3. Okay. Oh, because of the bucket seats and stuff? Oh, yeah, I can see that. That's really fast. Rory, do you want to talk about miles per gallon again? I reckon I've got the least... Y'all should switch, CO2 too. Y'all switch, too. Well, oh, Everybody yeah. switch. Which counts yeah. for a lot. What about your particulates, though? Everybody they'll... switch. We all know that they're made up. It's absolutely fine. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> that was just quick. Low next time, your driving position is kind of like almost lying down. It's proper racing driver spec. I haven't moved your seat out of courtesy, but I'm struggling to sit in this position. <laughs> do I sit too upright, do you think? Uh, too upright. Upright? You're like a vampire sleeping. What is going on? I just want to try someone else's seat. When I, when I, I, try, when I, race no, too, I jump out, I want to try your seat. I sit upright. I'm going to put it all the way back now. The last time I was this upright, I was on a spinal board in an ambulance. Yeah, you got me, like, your seat, you got me up on that thing. So you can see everything. <laughs> Just see who has the weirdest seating position. Bearing in mind that I've got short legs.
No, Nick's like me, just with longer legs. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'll go do Rory's. Let's try your seating position. Rory, try these. Mine is very normal. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just like... Look, look, he got far off that, like... So, Rory, you're a bit more reclined than me and Nick. Me and Nick yeah. are a bit more upright. But you've got surprisingly short legs, Rory, for a tall guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nick, you're like a capital L. Who the hell is this? <laughs> oh, 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 you are quite erect in here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the legs are fine, the back is not. Let's have a little go. Let's, <laughs> let's just make sure that this is actually how I, I like it. Do I really have it in this position? Mate. Yeah. Yeah, hey, boy, it's comfortable. I can see the seats. They're comfortable. I can see it from right here. Uh -huh. Compared to them bucket seats. Them bucket seats. And that's probably why that went a little bit faster on the takeoff, too. The bucket seats are lighter. I can see that. Okay. Maybe that's why I didn't win the drag race. This is, this is my normal position. Actually, it's still not great, but I have a go in that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's horrible. But it's not as bad as it was. <laughs> this seat hurts my bollocks, though. The testicle shelf. It's a very expensive carbon testy shell. <laughs> we did a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Now, if you're thinking about selling your car, you can do it through Carlow. What you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. If you want to do that now, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, just Google Help Me Carlow and we will help you sell your car. Now for the brake test. Right, let's see. Brake test. Flipping it. Shoes. Shoes. Y'all gonna crash. Shoes. No way. Ooh. Ooh, that's almost the same. I'm gonna have to get out to measure this one. I'm quite excited. That's probably the same. It's a normal deal. Ooh, actually, it actually looks like he won. It's my, it's my seat position, you see. Dead close to the wheel and upright. Let's see. You break harder with the left foot. I win. Just let y'all know. I do. Just. A little bit. In that's defense, it went over a bump in the very last bit. Of course it bit. did. <laughs> you don't, have you got carbons? No. Ooh, carbon. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> that doesn't help you braking. Carbon would have been better. Yeah, carbon. Carbons yeah, don't carbon mean better brake. braking. You've got you've got Michelin's. So I've got Pirelli's. Oh, have you? So I did well. You did very well. <laughs> Sorry, Pirelli. Yeah, you yes, won. In my defense, <laughs> I'm on cold carbons, and I was beating you by a long way, and then this went over a bump at the end, and you just caught me back. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Your carbons aren't that cold, mate. We've done quite a lot of braking. Don't give me that excuse. And we've all got bumps to deal with. I'm on Pirelli's. I know it still breaks, and we've done quite a lot of braking. And did he find it more comfortable <laughs> apart from my seat? Yeah, it's it's more comfortable in every aspect other than this seat, which is really good, but not positioned correctly. And it's a testicle shelf, as Nick calls it, which is really quite silly. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some more videos, click on the video windows. And if you want to see these cars... That is fire, okay. Ooh, I got to watch this one. Look, look, look. 12,000 horsepower Corvette C8 Model S player. Ooh, that's going to be fire. Mm -hmm. Alright, see y'all in the next one, man. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. We out. Peace.